Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomatic Oz. This video is the part of the solution series for CSIR net December 2019 and we are doing this problem 70 of your paper. It's a problem of analysis and it is of MSQ type. That means it can happen that more than one option is correct. So let us have a look. Let XD be a compact metric space let t such that x to x be a continuous function satisfying so what is happening here is this that x comma d is a compact metric space and t is a continuous function from x to x which satisfies this property that infimum of n belongs to natural number distance between these two elements so this is an element of x this is another element of x so distance between them is non-zero for every x, y belongs to x with the property that it uh, they are unequal. That means if you will choose any two element of x which are unequal, then the uh, and then what will happen? The image of them under t to the power n will be non-zero. So you have this option that t is one one or not. All right, image of t is closed, x is finite, then t is on two. All right, so. This question looks uh, difficult, but it is very easy. Let us see how it is easy. So beginning with the thing that is given to us, we are given with this property that X D, this one is compact, all right? Compact metric. Now, if it is compact metric space and D is its definition for the metric, all right? So it is given to us that distance between these two elements t and x and t and y this is non-zero if x is non equal to y. All right. So they are not saying distance only. They are saying infimum of this. So what they are saying that infimum of distance between t and x and t and y for all x y inside x. All right, so this is what is given to us. First option says t is 1, 1. All right, suppose not. Assume that t is not 1, 1. Then what will happen? Suppose not. All right, so it is not 1, 1. This will imply there exists two different elements, x and y, belonging to your space x such that tx is equal to ty. All right. I am considering these two non-equal elements. Suppose not, we are assuming that it is not on two, then this will imply this. Now, if this thing is happening, this will imply t to the power n of x is t to the power n of y. All right. Now, if these two quantities are equal exactly, then what should be the distance between them? The distance between them should be zero. Are you getting my point? So distance, if these two quantities are exactly equal, then distance will be zero, of course. So this will imply infimum of this, all right, infimum of distance t to the power n x, t to the power n y, where this infimum varies over n belongs to natural number is zero for all x, y, all right. So why is, you, why is this infimum zero? Because you are attaining zero. Firstly, see this thing that distance is a positive quantity. That means infimum is always greater than or equal to zero for this one. So infimum of this quantity cannot be negative. You, it has to be greater than or equal to zero. Now, because zero is already attained, therefore we can say that it is zero are you getting my point so that contradicts the given statement number two all right so let us say this is your given statement number two it contradicts this that is why first is cor uh, correct all right it cannot be on two so what we are getting we are getting a contradiction so that means there is a problem in the supposition so it has to be on two so that is why one is correct so if one is correct two has to be incorrect now in the third option it is saying that image of t is closed in x what do you know about t sorry what do you know about x you know that x is compact 
All right, you know x is compact. What do you know about t? You know that t is continuous function. Now, I want you to remind a theorem. I will state it. All right, so if t is a continuous function, then what happened is this, that t maps compact set to compact set. Are you getting my point? So if t is a compact set, sorry, if t is a continuous function and x is a compact set, then this will imply according to the theorem that image of compact set under the uh, under the continuous function is compact. So compact set are always mapped to compact set under the continuous function. So that is why your third option is true. Now let us talk about fourth option. Fourth option suggests us that if x is finite, then t is on to. Now see, if x is finite, all right, it's a finite set. Now what is happening if it is finite, if x is finite, you know that it's 1, 1. You know from option 1 that your function is 1, 1. So think about this issue that if you have a finite set, let us say 1, 2, 3 up to n, and you have 1, 2, 3 up to n. Now because you have domain and codomain same, and you have a 1, 1 function, that means what? It means that every element should have a pre-image because if, if there exists an element which, uh, which has no pre-image, then what will, what will break here? The, uh, the definition of the function will break because you have an injective function and you have exactly same element in domain and codomain. So it cannot happen that there exists an element which has no pre-image. Are you getting my point? I hope you understand this is a basic mathematics that if domain and codomain are equal, and your 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 function is uh, is is one one then it has to be on two so that is why fourth option is correct all right you can think over this issue i'm not going to explain it more it is very easy think about this issue that domain and codomain are same and your function is one one then why it has to be on two all right i am not going to give you a formal proof uh, that is enough for this problem so finally, we proved that one, two, one, three, and four are the correct options for this problem and second one is incorrect. So this is how we can solve this problem. So see how easy is this problem. We don't have to use anything. We are just using the basic mathematics, all right? The distance, the distance we are saying that it is positive and we are all doing logical things. We are not using any, any important result over here for this problem. So thank you.